This is a quick video on how to backorder a domain name. What happens is that uh, with a backorder is that if the domain expires, then the uh, place where you get the backorder from instantly tries to register the domain. So it helps you pick up domains that are currently registered if those owners happen to uh, let the domain and let the uh, domain expire. Uh, and this is often if, for, for instance, your business name, the .com version of it isn't available uh, because someone's registered it, then I personally would check the domain and see if someone's doing something with it. If they aren't, then the odds go up of them letting the domain expire. If someone has a website, and unless that business is out of business or whatever, then it's much less likely that they'll let it expire. In this case, uh, I'm looking at signs and shirts uh, which a uh, client asked me to look up for them and it is expired it hasn't been expired long it's uh, expired on the uh, 3rd of August and right now it's the 11th of August so it's been expired for about a week after the domain expires there's about 63 days of time 63 to 67 days before it actually becomes available. And uh, so a lot of that time is a redemption period where the people can renew their domain. There's two things that you need to understand about that redemption period. One is uh, it's set up so that there's plenty of time for the domain to get uh, registered by the rightful owners, uh, the initial owners, I should say, the original owners. And then also that uh, it's going to take you a while to get it. It just doesn't become available instantly. So you, re you know, check on the domain, see if it's if it's expired. That's a special, you know, especially good time to put a back order on it because I could put a pen in this and ch start checking it in two months and check it every day and see when it becomes available but that three day range that's not just like an average where it says 63 to 67 days it's a deliberate randomness about the system so that people can't just schedule a time and and log in and grab a domain the other thing that you want to understand about the expired domains is that people there are a lot of expired domain lists and services and stuff like that so when a domain becomes expired then a lot of times it will be snapped up by someone. It's more likely to be re-registered after expiring than it is to get registered initially. Uh, so that's where, why back orders can help. And they just you know snap up the domain when it becomes available. And the other thing about the back order is that if someone else has one, they may, you know, they may get it before you. Um, and there's just no way to, uh, you know, no way to defend against that. I will say that the back order, I believe the back order service, you can actually move that to another domain. So let's say in two months, this one becomes registered, you know, someone renews it or whatever. Well, now that back order isn't as important, although you might just leave it out there, you know, for the 19 bucks, just leave it out there. And if these people ever let it expire, then they can grab it. And I've had clients do that where they put a back order on and a couple years later, something happens, the people that let it expire and boom, they grabbed up the domain. They were real happy about it. So that's a little history about what back orders do. But uh, here's how you do how you actually do it. If you go to infoready.net, which is my domain registrar service, uh, then you can put in the domain that you want to back order and full with the dot com here and what it's going to do is going to pop up and say sorry it's not available but then right after it says still want it learn more and you, if you click on that it lets you do the back order now the back order let it includes the domain registration fee. So the domain registration fee is about 11 bucks. The back orders 
19 so you're paying like an extra you know eight bucks for the service where they'll grab it um you know if it becomes available So if you hit continue, and then you can hit continue to cart, and you have to set you have to log in uh, in order to. Uh, well, this is selecting options. This is just extra stuff. We don't need it, anything extra, and then you know here's your cart. And then uh, if you, you know, you hit proceed to checkout, it's going to ask you to create an account. But that's how you uh, back order a domain. You do want to do that yourself. You can have other people do it, but then they own the domain. So anytime you're registering a domain, it's a good idea to have it in your name, in your business name, with a username and password that you know um, and that you have recorded because otherwise you're depending on other people and if you lose this information it, it can be very difficult uh, to uh, you have to fax in paperwork and everything like that and it creates lots of extra time so it's just better to have control of it yourself that's a little bit about creating a back order and I appreciate your time thanks